Yo, what is up, bros? So today we're going to be looking at all the added World Conqueror 3 generals that EZ Tech has been adding since they've started updating World Conqueror 3 again. And just looking through these photos, I feel like maybe I haven't ever even seen a, a third of these guys. Yeah, I'm looking at probably a third that is uh, completely new to me. Anyways, as some of you might know, I just bought Eisenhower. I bought Eisenhower because he gives two additional generals to Conquest, which for 1950, 1960, I'm going to need to help shorten the videos that I post when I start doing 1950, 1960 videos. Anyways, I use Goring. I've got uh, six tank generals. That leaves me with one tank general left to grab. And I was wondering uh, which tank general I should get. So I started researching these uh, tank generals that have been added. There's a couple of them along with obviously the tank generals from the academies trying to decide which one I need. So maybe you bros can help me out. So let's go ahead and begin. We know this bro. I've already bought him. Mr. Hoth. Now. All right, before we get too far into this, this site I'm looking at is worldconquerfandom.com. I will provide a link in my description if you want to go check it out. It's it's not just World Conqueror 3 generals. It's like everything World Conqueror 3. Tells you what generals you should have when, like best perks, you know, that type of thing. Anyways, we got Herman Hoth. Um, what did he cost me? Like a, I think it was $1.99, right? Because I was just like, how can I turn down $2 for another tank general? And Panzer Ability 4. I wish it would have been 5, obviously. But he's got the level 4 um, Panzer Leader. Obviously really good. Plane Fighter. Um, he's got the Anti-Armor, which is really good. And the Ace Forces. Kind of wasted this. Right? I mean, he does got 4 ability, but I nobody's going to use him as an Infantry General. Then we got this bro, Marshall. Uh, it was purchased an, um, command pack along with this bro, the uh, Polish bro. This guy is infantry. He's, he does got the infantry leader. He's got raider. He's got some survivability. Uh, I don't know. I really don't. I, he could he definitely could have a better build. I'm not too impressed with that guy, actually. Uh, the Polish bro. Polish Panzer bro. Actually, you know what? These guys were just in the store. Um, if he was by himself, I would probably get him. He has three really good skills right off. He's got the Panzer leader. He's got the Tide of Iron. And he got the Anti-Armor. And decent movement. I'm just not trying to spend any more money. I didn't want to buy Eisenhower. Bro. And then we got Herman Bach. Oh, he was just in the store too. That was like, what was it? Seven? Seven dollars? And he is really good. That is a really good build and a little bit of survivability. Four mobility. Five panzer. Man, it's... <sighs> I really don't want to spend any money. We're looking for... A bro I can just buy with metals, okay? That's what we're looking for. But man, if I was going to spend money, it, it, it would definitely be for him. He comes with this bro, Ninonin. Probably nailed it. Who is an artillery general. Pretty much looks like a Lin B clone. He is the, the Finnish Lin B. Then we got... Uh, this is the bro you got for login, right? Yeah. Seven day login. Hey, and he wasn't that. He's actually pretty good, right? That was a pretty good pickup for just a general that you're given. Survivability can uh, help you out with uh, bombarding coasts, taking out uh, cities. Then we have Vasily, who, um,. Best infantry general, I would say, bar none. It's not even close. He could just have this one perk right here, and he'd probably be the best infantry general. A sniper is a skill that is exclusive to Vasily. It increases the range and damage of infantry units as long as they have not moved in the current turn. 
So check it out. Range plus one, damage plus 60. Remember when I first started playing the challenge conquest in 1939 and I'd pull up like two or three of my tank generals on Stalingrad and they would get absolutely destroyed. And I was thinking maybe it was missiles. No, it was Vasily with this. That is... And, and just any Raider 4 organization. He's also got Gorilla. I mean, he got survivability and big attack perks. Like, like he's the best. No, it's not even close. All right, what bro we got here? Sikorsky? Another Polish bro, Artillery? A better Lin B. If Lin B was like Dollar General, um, this bro would be maybe like um, Walmart or maybe Walgreens, something like that. He's a little bit, he's a little bit better Lin B. I'm not hating on the guy. He, he he's all right. He costs three thousand six hundred and ninety medals. Did it say? I forgot to look at Vasily. Uh, yeah, he was seven bucks. Same as, um, same as the other, like, damn, he costs as much as the package deals for these bros. Okay, who were we on? We were on this bro. Pavlov. Um, 2,590 medals. Four-star Panzer. Okay, movement. What is this again? Fortification. Kind of wasted infantry. Nobody's going to use him for infantry. <sighs> Yeah, he's just, he's mid. This bro's mid. Pavlov is definitely mid. Got a Japanese Naval General Mikawa for 3,500 medals. Damn, he's pretty expensive. What's this perk? Right at C. Increases his attack, attack plus 15 and a plus HP. Damn, he's has some, that's a nice look. Combine attack and survivability. Yeah, he's re he's pretty good. He's he's probably in the top, right? He's probably in the top uh, top few naval generals. Then we got Michael Wittmann, who we know well. I purchased him. How much was he? I don't remember, but he was well worth it. Look at this. That is. He's right up there with Monstein. I don't know. It could be debatable who was better. I'm sure you got the Monstein fans. You got the Vidman fans. I I love him as the general. And then we've got Falconhorst, who I don't ever even remember seeing. 2,390 medals. Pretty cheap. Uh, And yeah, he's not really that great. Of course, I don't like infantry generals anyways. We got this bro here, Yeramenko. I don't even know how I've seen him. 2,250 medals. He's artillery bro. Another Lin B clone. The uh, Russian Lin B. We got Bitrich, who is Air Force. Uh, with a little bit of infantry. Mountain fighting bro, come on. He only has one air ability? That lowers the cost? Wow, what a complete loser. I wouldn't... How much is he? Yeah, I was gonna say, he better be cheap. That ain't... He ain't nothing. Then we got another Russian bro, Kedukov. Um, And this was actually the one that I was thinking I would buy, but I haven't seen him. Look, he's good, but I don't know if I've ever even seen him in the shop. 3,900 medals. I could buy him. I think I got that much now. Save back up. Um, I would buy him or I think I would buy... I don't know. I want the, I, I want him. I'm, I'm going to try to hold out for him for a while. If not him, probably somebody out of the academies. Then we got, who's this? Uh, Kretschmer? Nailed it. Naval bro. 
Looks like came through in at prayer. I don't think I've seen this bro either. Uh, he looks like a pretty badass naval general, though. I mean, this guy looks. Yeah, this guy's really good, actually. Damn, if you were wanting like a badass naval general. Yeah, that is the bro you would want. Damn. Yeah, even they're saying possibly the best naval general in the game. I'm I'm with you there. I am 100% with you there. Next up, we've got Hartman. Um, he comes in a bundle as well. He looks. What's inspiring again? Yeah, I don't really. I don't know about. I just want some damage output or straight. Yeah. Hold on. So this guy. Damn, that would increase damage over over a, the period of a an entire conquest. You're gaining a lot of damage with that perk. I mean, I would never buy him, but he's all right, I guess. Then we have Tibulkin. Which is an infantry general. Slash a little bit of artillery. I mean, again, 3,500 medals. I would never buy him for that. We got an American dude. Freaking Jimmy Kimmel here. Yeah, cheap, cheap, cheap. Yeah, it, yeah, I'm not even wasting my time looking at that guy. And then we got um, Anders. 2,590 medals. Panzer. Oh, that'd be a waste of medals. Yeah, I'm not impressed with him at all. We got my artillery bro that I bought already. 3,690 medals. Um, very, very good artillery bro. I am 100% happy with that purchase. And then we got... Oh, okay. This is the artillery general that... Yeah, with this perk. Here it is. Motorized artillery. This is a skill that allows artillery units to make a second attack after attacking, but with reduced damage. And when I was playing with the US and I had him, he was a complete badass, which is kind of odd because look at the rest of his perks. They're not that great. He only got four star, but... Dude, dude was going off when I was playing with him. Spats. Let's see... He is an Air Force General. Uh, I mean, not too impressive, really. Of course, I got Goring. That's really the only Air... The only, I mean, really, how many Air Force Generals do you need? And last up, we've got Wigand. Oh, this is the bro. Yeah, 3,900 medals. Um, Because he was in the... I almost bought him yesterday. Because he was in the shop as I was talking about it. But like I said, he's not that great. It does have Panzer Leader 4. And then some kind of wasted perks. I think... I think I'm holding out for this, bro. Or maybe Patton. I, I mean, I don't know. Anyways, bros, I just wanted to show you all those because I had never really took the time to look at all the generals that had been added. Like I said, I haven't even seen all of these. All right, bros, if you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Slap like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak for our next upload. Peace, Bruminati out.